That's University. right. That's right. Salukis? Yeah, man. That's right. Was that Carbondale? Absolutely. <laughs> See, I know a little bit about oh, it. Oh, we got an offsides on second and goal. You cannot have these self-imposed penalties. You can't do it. You need discipline. So welcome back here. We're live here inside of the Toyota Club in MetLife Stadium for the Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach NJ franchise with the ball trailing three to nothing as we start after the two minute warning. And there's Bo Jackson running around the left oh. side. Oh, nice move. Falls forward around the one yard line. Best run of the day for old Bo Jackson. It's pivotal here. What do you do? You know, this is a down third and goal where you have the option to throw or pass. You know, you believe Bo Jackson just gained four yards on the carry. Do you put it in Bo Jackson's hands or do you put up the fade to the GOAT, Jerry Rice? I remember Jerry Rice used to have the play where he went in short motion and went to the flash immediately. Now you see a copycat, but it started with the GOAT in the West Coast offense. Absolutely. Bill Washington, those guys out there with the uh, Niners back in the 80s and 90s. Bo Jackson on the left side. He drags the defender. No, he doesn't get in. We got fourth and goal. Bo at knows. the one inch line. I thought he got in. And once again, we've got another small issue that we will work through. And we're back. I think we're good and we're live. Franchise. Fourth and goal from the one inch line. You oh, got Bo Jackson back there. You got to go for it here, Bart. I tell you what, MP saw it sold out. He's going for the field goal. Wow. He's going for the tie. Surprising. That's what happens when there's money on the line. Field goal is up, and it is good. And what I noticed, MP saw it. He didn't even have Jerry Rice covered. He went full on goal line defense, sold out, and it paid dividends. Now it's all tied up, 117 to go on the clock. Can MP mount some type of offense as we have a, have a sky kick? He's going to run down, get whatever he can. You know, when the big guys get the ball, they're not used to handling. You tell them to get what you can get and get down. Also want to let the fans know here inside of MetLife Stadium, we have some really great prizes for you guys. Winner could receive a PlayStation Arcade joystick, drone, a Carbon Arcade joystick, a Cloud Alpha gaming headset, and a PlayStation Dragon Arcade joystick as well with a backpack. We got a couple of those and also going to give away a Madden 18 game here, uh, an Xbox copy uh, to someone as well here inside of the Toyota Club here inside Midline Stadium. So back here under a minute to play, 3-3 three, three ball game. I'm, I am a little surprised that franchise GG took that field goal there fourth and inches with Bo Jackson in your backfield. Absolutely. When you got a guy like Bo Knowles, you hope that he can fall forward for one yard, but he's playing it safe. He doesn't want to get upset early in the tournament. So defense playing very well here offensively. Both guys, uh, you, you know, being a little conservative, had a few decent pass plays, not a whole lot of uh, a rack and not a lot of, you know, huge uh, explosive plays from the offense, Mark. But I tell you what, you want them to, you, you don't want to beat yourself. So everybody's playing a little conservative right now, hoping that somebody else can make the big mistake and they can capitalize on it. Right now, EMP starts, you're talking about 117 or 110 to go, trying to mount some type of offense. He's been having that formation into the boundary. Let's see if he flips that formation and try and take advantage of some of the field. Yeah, I want to see if he can really get, you know, Bo going. I mean, look, we've talked about it. You know, he's got, what, seven or eight carries, less than 20 yards. So he just had the largest run of the day a little while ago. He had that eight-yard run uh, to get him inside the, the two-yard line down to about the one and a half. So we'll pick it back up. Tied at three. Ian P. Saltz with his possession here. Probably will be the last possession of the first half. These guys are really good at milking the clock and, and really being in control of the possessions. It is a possession game just like the real-life football that you've uh, played in and know so well. Bart. What you talk about first play of two men and it's usually run, draw, it's usually draw a screen. Uh, he went with the draw with McCaffrey, he didn't get anything. I wonder if he's just going to sit on the ball and, you know, play for the um, tie and go into the side, go into halftime tied up. Right now he has a formation to the field, as we mentioned. Formation and he balls into the boundary. He has a lot of field, drops back, surveys the field. He has to cross it deep, lose a little yardage right now. I don't know if he wants to use their timeouts and force him to punt. Does get the little uh, the little out route. I, I actually had a little drag, a little crossing route across the middle there. Picks up a few yards. Third and six. Franchise and ENP Salts. You can see the timeouts there. Franchise with two. ENP Salts with one. So third and six here. If I'm franchise, I call this timeout immediately if he if he has a negative play on third down and hope that you can get a punt and 
he'll take a take a chance before the half. Can he get and Pete Saltz move the ball via the air? Can he throw the ball and make franchise respect him? And he's going deep. He's got a receiver. Mike oh. Wallace, oh, and he's got a 5 4 3 2 1. How he's in the house. Makes a house call there, and he went deep just when we thought he couldn't. And he hits old Mike Wallace from Ole Miss. Hotty toddy down the left side there. And that's a touchdown, and he takes a 9 3 lead, pinning that extra point, Mark. And he, and he gave us a stare. He gave us a stare like, hey, I told you I told came you. here to win. House money, baby. I'm going into the half up 7, up 10 3. And I tell you what, right now, franchise has to respond. Down 10-3, franchise will get the ball here on this kickoff return. Not surprised there. Uh, when you talk to Ian P. Salton, we both talked to him in that production meeting. He talked about dink and dunk, I'm going to run, but I've got some speed on the outside, and I will go up top and see what these guys can do. And that's what he did. He broke it out at the right time, able to go deep down the field, and he's got that elite level Mike Wallace that can really get deep down the field with that 4-2 speed. Mike Wallace a fast dude. You you know. I know, absolutely. I, I mean, days. many times for my Ravens days, but he, what he did is he put him in the slot. You can't get hands on him in the slot that way, and he was able to get a free release, and not too many men in the football, in the National Football League can keep pace with Mike Wallace. I used to talk about 4-2 speed. is unbelievable. One of the fastest men in the league ever. So, Stefan Diggs with the completion on the out route on the outside. Gain of about six. 26 seconds left. One timeout each for a franchise and EMP Salt's franchise on the move with Jared Goff as his quarterback and there's a dot across he's the middle go. and he's going he couldn't hold on to it Jerry Rice not able to haul that one in it'll be third and four I thought that was a completion Bart yeah that's un un uncharacteristic you got to get uh Jerry Rice to the NB gloves he, he, need, he needs the NB gloves I don't know if Jerry Rice can catch with these new school gloves he needs the NB gloves the old Newman gloves that we used to wear when I was in college. I'm going way back there. <laughs> the old stick them on there. <laughs> There's a pass completed, a first down. Todd Bowles likes that first and ten for franchise. Got a timeout. Takes out. his final yeah. timeout. Final timeout. I think it's time to try and take a shot. You talk about you can't throw the ball down the middle of the field with only 13 seconds to go. It has to be an outbreaking route and then maybe take the Hail Mary after this play right here. Both guys with their salary cap neglected a little bit with the kickers. So we're watching that situation to kind of see if they can, you know, kick those long, deep field goals there. First and ten for Franchise. Goff looking, looking. He's going to go. Wow. Oh, he was looking deep, but he's brought down, and I think that will do it. And that will end the first half. Ian P. Saltz will have the lead 10-3. The number four seed right now with a touchdown advantage over the number one overall top seed Franchise as they'll head into the third quarter with Franchise trailing 10-3 there. A good second quarter for EMP Salts, Mark. And EMP receives the ball after halftime, and he's right back on it. He has the opportunity to make this a two-point score, and you do that, it can get real serious around here right real quick. I, I like that he's, you know, look, usually I, I, I like a guy that's aggressive, but I like his cautious approach here. Like, look, I don't want to do anything stupid, anything crazy here. You saw him run out of bounds there. I've got the lead. No need for any hit sticks or fumbles or anything like that. Let me go ahead and mash this guy and get this two touchdown advantage. Uh, first, best, best case scenario, you want to you want to get the uh, the touchdown, the two point score, but you want to take some time off the clock to really put that pressure on the franchise. Eight of four by Christian McCaffrey. Go ahead, Bart. I wonder right now what the franchise thinking. You know, I know he's a little you know shocked right now. He's trying to make the adjustments. You know, little laws in the, in the action going back and forth with technical difficulties and things like that. You have to always be able to handle the distractions. Been a frustrating start for both players. Franchise playing great on defense. He's only allowed 65 yards, one rushing yard, but that long deep pass to Mike Wallace right now, the difference in this ball game. Third quarter action, second and six. Oh, watch the blitzer coming off the left-hand side, and he gets in there. That's Is that Earl Thomas of the Hood? I think that is with the sack third and 13 for EMP Salts. Passing, not his forte. What is he going to do here, Bart? Well, I tell you what, you see the franchise is starting to get a little bit desperate and wanting to try and heat him up a little bit and put some pressure and get him behind the sticks to try and force him to make a mistake. EMP's playing extremely cautious. I wouldn't call him a game manager, but he's got to try and get something positive. And like he said before, he's not afraid to punt the football. He has tremendous belief in his defense. Flag on the play there. This will be a loss of five there, third and 18 for EMP Salts. Look, you've looked at these playbooks, right? These call sheets, 
what do you usually see on third and 18? What's, what, what play can you go to? Well, third and 18, you, you, you hope that you can run somebody out and flood the zone and try and throw the ball just short of the sticks and hope that you can get five or six yards. We call it the yak yards, get a couple of yards after the catch. You know, he has his formation set into the boundary. Hopefully, maybe I will try and bring somebody from the field to the boundary or try and take somebody. He's going with that third receiver. He has a late crossing route. Just didn't well, have a lot of time to let it materialize. I was in Seattle last week, and they were asking me about the, you know, the laminated play sheet. I'm like, look, I've seen those play sheets. And when we're in college, nothing on there for fourth and 22. You're right. You want to throw it short of the sticks, or you want to go just deep and just kind of hopefully you get a PI you know, a PI or something like that. Yeah, pass interference. Here's the difference right here. Oh, oh bad puck there. Great job by Franchise getting away from that. You used to say, what, Peter, Peter? Peter, something Peter. Like Pumpkin eater. <laughs> Scatter. Get away. We, we said Peter because it was short, so that's what we used to do to get away from <laughs> it. Was, it, so. it was short and it was <laughs> easy to say when you got your mouthpiece in. Exactly, exactly. So Franchise uh, giving new life there. Uh, you look at Ian P. Schultz, he talked about it. His quote was, I will punt the ball at least once, so I want to see what the other guy's going to do. He's not afraid oh. to punt. What a catch there by Jerry Rice on the outright on that dig there. And there's the emotion from Franchise. I was just about to say, I've been looking for that. This is a guy very emotional, makes a lot of noise when he's playing the game. Absolutely. MP is going to have to rally as he's almost in. he's inside the red zone or the green zone, depending on what side you're on. Bo Jackson again, a walk-in touchdown. Bo knows, scores around the right side, and that's a touchdown for Bo Jackson. And there's Franchise showing some fight, as they like to say in the Madden community, one point away, an extra point away from tying up this ball game here in the third quarter. The number one seed on the board with his first touchdown, Bart. I tell you what, we're going to see, like we always used to say, pressure bus pipe. We're going to see which one is the pipe today. The extra point up, and it is good. And we are even, Steven, tied at 10. Three minutes, two seconds left in the third quarter. Good sequence there. It helped to have that short field. Terrible punt there by my buddy, Ian P. Saltz. Absolutely. It's the ebb and flow of the game. It's a roller coaster. You have your ups and downs. How can you change the momentum? As momentum has shifted over to the franchise, can EMP Salt get it back? Once again, not taking any chances. Don't want to hit stick or anything like that. The fumble. It'd be interesting if he keeps. If both guys are coming with these sky kicks. If you sub somebody out and put a faster player there and maybe get a little bit more ball security, but also get a little bit more yardage. That could be something that you know, the guys may think about later in the game. Explain the difference between a sky kick and a pooch. Well, sky kick is a um, little, bit, little bit deeper behind yep. the guys. You want to try and get it in between probably the 20 and 25 yard line to make the returners have to run up to make it be some indecision. You know, you're always taught not to go backwards if you're on a receiving team, and it puts a lot of stress on the guys that's standing at the goal line to run 20 yards, and, you know, that's a live ball there too as well. Second down and 11, the pass complete to Christian McCaffrey out in the flats. It's a loss of one. So E.N.P. Saltz, once again, he's got to be careful here. You don't want to get behind the sticks. He's shown that it's hard for him to pass unless he can get Wallace or Diggs out on the outside. And here's a pass across the middle, and he's got Buchanan. That's incomplete. So now we're looking at third and 11. Danger territory here for E.N.P. Saltz. I'll tell you what, he's got to try and get a first down, if anything, just to flip the football field. And he said he would punt once. Will he punt twice? That's the question. I'm looking out there, not a lot of weapons for him. You got Wallace, you got, you got McCaffrey, you got Diggs. That's about it. It's yeah, going to be tough for him to move the ball here. He's got some time, and he's got a receiver, Buchanan. Can he get the first? He's going to come up about oh. two yards short. Decisions, fourth and decisions. About two, actually fourth and three. Decisions, decisions. I think it's an easy decision for E.N.P. Saltz. I think he will punt this ball away. I don't know. He said he'll punt oh. once. He never said he'll punt twice. He I did think say that. I think franchise is filling itself right now. Momentum is starting to shift. If you want to try and keep that offense on the sideline, and EMP Sauce is going for it. Going for it. three. Gun trips. That's his formation. We'll see what he can come up with. It is a manageable situation at fourth and three. He's got Aaron Rodgers back in the gun with that gun trips. McCaffrey offset to the right side, like you said, Bart. And he goes across the middle. Can't oh, hold on to it. Complete. Great defense there by Franchise. And he had Jadevian Clowney back there in coverage. Franchise once again gets the ball. Another short field, Bart. 
MP Salt looks like he's just tried to swallow a watermelon right now. It's <laughs> tough. He's going to have to try and come up with a great defensive stance. He can't go by, go down, and Bo Jackson is trying to get loose. Great tackle. Is it me, or does Bo Jackson not have the speed that we're accustomed to seeing? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, yeah I'm telling you what, I think it's the neck roll is not aerodynamic for today's shoulder pads, and it looks like it's slowing Bo down just a bit. But with that being said, that's a gain of four that gives you options. You can run, and you can still pass, and you get a very manageable third down. Franchise with the second down and six. We'll go with that single back there. Shazier is in on offense. Yes. Known for his speed. Been don't playing know a lot of tight end. Don't know if he has four thumbs, though. Oh, there's Bo Jackson. Some room on the right side. Gains about 12 yards there. That'll be a first down close to the red zone. And there's Bo Jackson with that neck roll. <laughs> does, does EMP saw he Is he going to have to get aggressive? We saw a franchise blitz Earl Thomas. Is he's going to try and create some pressure? Because it looks right now that his defense is on the heels. And Bo Jackson is starting to wear these guys down in the third quarter. Tick, 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 tick. Bo Jackson, inspired franchise with the Tecmo days. First and ten, under a minute to play in the third quarter. We have a tied ball game at ten. Jared Goff under center. Once again, hands off to Bo Jackson. Got some room on the right side. Doesn't have enough speed to get into the end zone, but he does have enough to get that first down. Knocked out of bounds inside of the red zone. Another good run for Bo Jackson, who's starting to pick up some steam after a slow start with the first five carries when he only had six yards, Mark. If, 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 I'm, if I'm in peace thoughts, I, don't, I think I'd take a timeout right now. Really, he has to adjust his front. He's in a sink front, leaving a B and C gaps open, and Bo Jackson is exploiting that front. Finally, some good defense there by ENP Salts, Yo. using his linebackers to come up and make the play. You is that Derek stop? Brooks? I believe that was D. Brooks right there. If you want to stop that run, you got to go with a more of a reduced front. When you go to that sink front, you're really stopping the, in, the inside runs. Bo Jackson has hit all things outside, pressing the gap, patience through the hole, to the hole, and acceleration through it. You know, he's really going to have to consider changing in his front. That sink front isn't working for him right now. Are right, we heading to the fourth quarter tied here at 10? The fourth seed there, Ian P. Saltz, against the top seed franchise. We're tied at 10. Franchise. Second and 11 looks like he's in the gun bunch if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he got the trips on the left hand side Back offset to the right Bo Jackson a little motion with the goat going to the right side of the formation Jared Goff finds Bo Jackson makes a man miss picks up an extra yard or two we'll Give him about four yards on that call it three third and seven bar trying to get Bo Jackson out in space Hoping he can make one man miss and get to the end zone. Trying to run guys off and get in motion, get somebody on that safety or that free hanging, that hanging safety coming down and inserting into the box. How about Bo Jackson with that neck roll with the old school tape on it straight out of the 70s and 80s right there, man? I think that's masking tape, too. It's not the good <laughs> tape. I think it's the masking <laughs> tape. It's a little, little, looking a little bit yellow. It's clashing with the green and the white. Critical here, man. Just like in real football, we talk about it. Kick and field goals and touchdowns. What can you do in the red zone? And he overshoots his receiver. Had Stephon Diggs. Fourth down and seven. Do Jared you, Goff overthrows his receiver. Do you go for three? Take the three. Absolutely. Take, take, the, take three. the three. Or do you dare to be great and close the door right now? Take the three. Franchise is going to take the three. Yes. Money's on the line, man. It's not like you're playing online and playing your buddy on a, a random Wednesday night. Uh, this is for some cash right here. This is the difference between... This is a $1,500 kick, possibly. But I tell you what, much like Riverboat Ryan, sometimes you got to gamble. You got to go with your gut. <laughs> sometimes you got to know what it ain't no, It ain't always conventional. Franchise with his first lead of the ball game on a 10-0 scoring run now. It was down 10-3. Now it's 13-10. Franchise with the lead. We'll see what NP Salts can do here. Can he... Ah. Can he get the ball and, and really eat up the clock and maybe get a touchdown to get a get a lead and force NP Salts to maybe need a touchdown to try to win this ball game? So we'll see if he continues to go with that conservative approach down by three. But down by three, all he has to do is run the clock out. You know, if he scores, he's going to put a lot of pressure on franchise. It's going to be important that he makes sure that he takes his time and stay patient. You still have an opportunity to stay within your game plan. You still have all three timeouts, a two-minute warning. And he decides to be patient as, as franchise is taking away the big play. Christian McCaffrey run off the left-hand side. Down three carries, 12 yards. He picked up seven there. 
So good job there by ENP Salts. As you can see there, though, be careful. You saw Franchise ripping at the ball, the hit sticks and things of that nature. You got to be careful and make sure you have great ball security there. Second down and three. Well, you know what that Salts. is. Ball security is job security. It is. Just like availability. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and three for ENP Salts. McCaffrey up the gut off the right hand side and good running there by ENP Salts. You can clearly see what his strategy is. Ground and pound. You know exactly what that's about here with the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Absolutely. And these offensive linemen love firing off the ball. You know, they're big physical offensive line. You know, they may not be the best pass blockers, but if you can get a guy coming off and knowing that we're going under, you know, going, you know, underneath the center, they, they love that. They love that because that's about being mano a mano. You talk about three men on the line of scrimmage, three against five, you get a double, 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 and get movement. Flag on the play, offsides for franchise encroachment there so picks up five yards for EMP Salts I'm, I'm continuing to look at his guards because remember he told us my guards are trash well, doing a pretty good job today his guards are well his guards are trash but they're going against a three-man rush and then you talk about that you you want to run the football hope that those guards can get up to those linebackers especially right there you got McCaffrey breaking the tackle he's getting stronger as the game is going on yeah, you look at it, he, he had a good job. He brought the user linebacker in, Ryan Shazier, but he was able to break that tackle with Christian McCaffrey. I'm a little surprised there that little Christian McCaffrey can break the tackle of a Ryan Shazier, but good job by N.P. Sauce. Well, well, you talk about, you know, I think McCaffrey's re a very underrated between the tackles runner and Ryan Shazier, even though he's a fast, tenacious linebacker. He's only 235, a little light in the run. <laughs> Second down and one for ENP Salts. Under three minutes to go, and he's going to drop back the pass. Been a little sketchy for him today. He takes oh, oh my goodness. Aaron Rodgers took one by Jadavian Clowney. That was like the old South Carolina Michigan hit where he knocked his dad going block off right yeah, there. Yeah, man, we've seen that. You talk about a loss of four. I thought he missed the opportunity. I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, I think he missed the opportunity to run the football that, in, that, in that instance right there, trying to get a little bit greedy. Loss of three on the play. There, his guards were trash. They let him down <laughs> <laughs> for ENP Salts. Well, they were pass blocking. They didn't know he was going to take <laughs> off. Third and four. Hands it off to McCaffrey. And once again, one of his favorite plays. That draw has been good to him today. Not great numbers by McCaffrey, but it's been enough to keep the sticks moving. Keeping Six carries, moving. almost 30 yards. Let's see if he tries to see if ENP Salts tries to get a playoff before the two-minute warning. Absolutely not. He's going to let that baby go down to two minutes. And like I said, this will be the last drive of the game. He is going to win it here, or he's going to lose it on this drive here. As we get down to two minutes, there's the top overall seed. Franchise with the three-point lead. The 26-year-old from Valley Stream, New York. And there's Ian P. Saltz, born in Long Island, living now outside of Palm Beach in Wellington, Florida, down by three. But he has the ball, and he's on the move, Bart. Let's see if, if, if Franchise, he's been here before. He's been in a lot of tight games. Let's see if his experience pays off for him. First and 10, and there's McCaffrey once again off that right-hand side. And it's, hey, it's three yards in a cloud of dust like the old Big Ten days. Well, I tell you what, MP Salt is, is very happy taking three yards of carry, three yards of carry. You get the fourth down, that's a first down. And as long as his franchise is showing his three-man front, he's going to take his chances with him controlling the linebacker. Gun trips tight end, and he's got McCaffrey on the left-hand side. Can't make a man miss. Oh. Good tackle there by franchise. And we've got third and seven. He's taking his first time out. First time out there by franchise. Buck 35 left in the game. And we're getting down to the nitty-gritty time now. What can ENP Salts come up with? No, he's not very great throwing the ball deep down the field. But can he get enough with the dink and dunk? to pick up a first down, or do you go back to the draw, which has been good to you? Well, on third down, I think you have to try and get the first down now. Hope that you can go to your favorite play. Maybe he's been saving a play that he hasn't shown yet. This is the time to pull it out. Pull that rabbit out of the hat. Gun trips. You know he was oh. going with that draw and the run with McCaffrey. And once again, Jadevian Clowney has been the MVP so far for franchise on defense. And here's the play of the ball game. Well, somebody and blocked seven. that guy. Fourth and seven, really can't kick a field goal. It'll be about 57 from here. He does have all three timeouts, so it's not technically the last play of the game for him, but he really needs to pick up a first down here. What can Aaron Rodgers do? Who does he go to on offense? For EMP Salts. Mike Wallace for Paul Richardson. Oh, it's oh, picked off. Intercepted. Great job there by Franchise. 
Track we're heading coverage. the other way, and a great coverage there. He was trying to hit that crossing on the uh, corner, and Micah Hyde came up huge. Michael Hyde. Johnny on the spot. Some guys, sometimes the ball just finds guys. Michael Hyde has been one of those guys. His entire career trap coverage, getting the press out, jumping it, and making a huge play for the franchise. Can he milk this clock out? Three timeouts left for NP Salt. He's got a bow his neck, and he's got a good, good job of stopping Bo. Speaking of bowing his neck, and that was a huge eight-yard run. Give him nine, second and one there. But Wait. Bo did run out of bounds, so he didn't need to use a timeout there. Well, you know, but he's going to keep this thing on a run to keep this clock going. The, stop, the, the clock stops on an incomplete pass. Does he sell out? He's going to have to sell out. Absolutely. Man-to-man -man coverage. Commit big time for ENP Salts. He's got to do run commit and leave everybody on the line, on, on an island. It should be 11 guys within two yards of the line of scrimmage right now. Bo Jackson, and that's what you needed right there. There's your run, commit a loss of three, and now we're looking at third and four, under 50 seconds left to play. Got to use that timeout, stop that clock, because if he punts the ball, you are, you're not going to have too much time on the clock. This might be the biggest play of the game here. First down, and it's pretty much over. As a matter of fact, it is over. If Franchise can pick up that first down, third and four, what do you do here? You go with the run, or do you try to do something safe, maybe a little RPO run pass option, although he's got Jared Goff. I don't know how much running he can do. <laughs> this is all. Oh, this is exciting right now. He decides to go with the bunch, his favorite formation. Hands off the fakes oh, no, it. fakes it. Good job by MP Salts to take away. And what X. did you say about Jared Goff? Jared Goff with the wheels. He did a good job of taking away X out in the right flat, but he left the room on the left hand side. And that was enough. This is pretty much like golf now, That'd where it's like it. match play. Do you That'd do, do you concede, if you will? I'm going to use all my timeouts, and I'm going to just I'm going to do something. When the money's on the line and two timeouts, you're going to have to play this one out. Yeah, this is. Both guys, you see the run-pass ratio, two to one. These guys living by the run, and franchise. If he can just hold on. Well, you saw his experience. You saw his experience come into play. He's been here before. He didn't panic. He stayed cool under pressure, cool as a cucumber. And that will do it. You just saw the best play in all of football, the victory formation. I was watching South Florida and Central Florida play the other day, and UCF was in shotgun for their victory formation. <laughs> That's where the game is at now. Nobody, nobody's under the center. And there is the great sportsmanship there between franchise and ENP Salts, and it is franchise, the top overall seed. Woo! Boy, he moves on. A close one. He wins 13 to 10. He's got family in town and family here. His dad, his brother, here inside of the Toyota Club here at MetLife Stadium. Boy, he was down 10 to 3, but he scores the final 10 points of the game. Larry Ridley alongside the Mad Backer, Bart Scott, the former Jet great. Good defense there. Pretty boring, though. I tell you watch. what, I tell, listen, this is, listen. Defensive, they're playing to win. Defensive players have families, too. Listen, <laughs> I, I love an ugly game. It's beauty and defense. Talk about Micah Hyde and, and who popped out the most was the Davion County making yes. the huge plays, the pivotal plays as the EMP Sauce were moving the ball. It looked like he had it in hand when he went up by the one-point score. Michael Hyde with a huge turnover. Tremendous game. Earl Thomas played well. Your boy Ed Reed was also back in the secondary, but you're right, Micah Hyde and Jadevion Clowney. Huge stars, big time for a franchise. He gets the victory 13 to 10. He will move on to the finals uh, where he will get the winner of AKG and Ice, uh, who will be coming up next in that second semifinal. So your first foray in the mat, you saw a game a little uneven, but a pretty good finish there. I tell you what, two conservative game plans. Very conservative. You know, nobody wanted to make the big mistake and not trying to make the big mistake. You make the big mistake. You talk about the interception by by MP Salt. Um, I tell you what, the experience really played played a role. It's interesting to see if these two guys, you know, um, AKG and don't care about ice is going to air it out and, and be very aggressive because then if they match up, how does those styles match up? Because styles make fights. You will see it aired out in that next game. I promise you that. Let's go now to our third member of the team, Eric Allen, standing by with the winner. Franchise, what's up, EA? Unbelievable. You do you're down 10-3 at halftime. What's going through your mind before that decisive 10-point run in the second half? 
just do what I always do. I came out flat. It wasn't uh, my original game plan. Didn't work. I had to go to Old Faithful, and uh, that's three three five for me. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm a defensive player. If you're gonna give me an opportunity to make plays on defense, I'm always gonna make plays. Tell you what, offensively, you started getting to the edge in the second half with your run game. How were you able to do that? Well, in Bo, I trust. I said it before the tournament, and I'll say it again. If, uh, without Bo Jackson and, and you know the play calls I'm having, you know, I just, I just got to keep it up until the championship game. Franchise, you got your whole family here at MetLife Stadium. What's this feeling like is now you're one win away from representing the Jets down at the Madden Championships in Orlando. Well, if there's one thing I gotta say, you know, I just, you know, thank for all my family for being here. I love you guys, the dream come true for me, but you know, if Madeline franchise and hunting, I'm coming to take it home. This is my, this is, this is what I, I came for, this is what I trained for, this is what I practiced for. Everyone back at home, you know me. You know, shout out to Master Gamer for, you know, helping me uh, get to this age. Thank you for uh, all my EMB teammates. Uh, this one's for you guys. I'm taking this one home. I guarantee victory. All right. He guarantees victory. Well, of course, we're here at MetLife Stadium, the New York Jets home. So Bart Scott's going to like to hear that because the Jets are known for a guarantee or two. Back to you guys, Larry. Can't wait. <laughs> I was just about to talk about, you know, all of